Are you thinking about kicking off a career in project management, but are still not 100% crystal clear on what exactly does a project manager do? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you just that. And if you want to be a project ninja, stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm going to share with you how to get your hands on a checklist on why projects fail. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adriana Girdler. I'm a business productivity specialist and a certified project manager. If you want to excel in your career and your project, subscribe to my channel and you will be getting a new video every Wednesday. Being a project manager is an excellent job. I love what I do, but it's not exactly sometimes what you think it is. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the role of the project manager. Let's get to it. Ensure customer satisfaction. In projects, it is all about the stakeholder. And who's the stakeholder? It's everyone from the sponsor to your project team members to the people who are actually going to be the recipients of your project deliverable. So you really need to ensure that everybody is satisfied. And how do you do that? Well, you do it through emotional intelligence. You really need to get attuned to where people are and what they're thinking because sometimes people don't speak up. And part of that is communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Project management is all about communication. And if you want to have to have, and if you are, if, bleh, if you're going to have great customer satisfaction, which is critical for projects, then get in tune with people and communicate as much as you can to ensure that everyone's on the same page. Be a cheerleader. Yes, you got to get out your pom poms. Your job as a project manager is to motivate your team. Don't forget, these are people who don't necessarily report directly into you. They have other managers. So how do you motivate people in order to really excel at the project work that they're doing for you, plus all the other work? Well, it's you got to cheer them on. You got to ensure that they are inspired. So get out those pom poms and cheer away. Are you ready to be your cheerleader for your team? Write down go team in the comments below. Be the gatekeeper. So as a project manager, you have to ensure things don't spiral out of control. So you have to halt people from jumping on any bandwagon and ensuring things are very systematic. So you're the gatekeeper. They, no one can go past you. They all, everything has to be filtered. So this is a really important aspect of project management that sometimes gets missed because of senior executives and the pressure project managers feel. Don't get sucked into that. Be the gatekeeper. It's going to help you out in the long run. Be the paper pusher. Okay, project management is all about documentation. We need our project plans, we need our timelines, we need our budgets, all that fun stuff. So yeah, you are pushing a lot of paper, but it is important because that helps you keep people on track. And it ties into everything else that you're doing as a project manager. You need that documentation. So just realize it's a big part of what you're doing and set aside some time to ensure that you're not working on all your paperwork at night. You have a life too. Be the mother hen or the father rooster. Now, sometimes amongst us project managers, we'll say, yeah, what do you do? I babysit a lot. Now, if that's ever happened to you, please write it in the comments below. But yes, as a project manager, you have to ensure and peck away at everything and just making sure that everyone is on track. So it's, again, all tied in with everything else that you do from the paper pushing and the cheerleading and all that fun stuff. But you really have to ensure that people are in a rhythm, they're getting things done, that when you have due dates, you ensure that they're following them. So yeah, you gotta peck away, you gotta babysit a bit. It's okay, because when you do it well, people will deliver and that's ultimately your goal. So here's a quick little tip that I do all the time when I'm doing projects to keep everyone on track so I'm not pecking away at them all the time. And that is I have very strict rules when it comes to the project plan and providing updates. So if you're, and I do that right at the beginning, by the way, with the expectations, because if I start my expectations midway through the project, people aren't gonna do it. But as soon as I kick anything off, I set up, by the way, every Friday or every other Friday, we're gonna update the project plan. Here's how you do it. You're gonna provide some comments and I need it by noon on Friday because that gives me time to review it and give it back to you and then we're gonna have a refreshed project plan. That's a lovely way to get people sort of on board with the process and then you don't have to go chasing them around a lot. Now that you understand the role of a project manager, I wanna take you from being a good project manager to a great project manager by you getting this guide on why projects fail. Grab it in the link below. I promise you it is worthwhile your effort to take a peek. 
please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with all the professionals that you know. Now, if you're starting out on projects, I would love to hear from you. I read the comments. Please send me a message below as to how things are going. I'd love to hear from you. Until the next video, see ya.